Although he was a kind and devoted father and gave his beloved child every luxury and comfort, still he felt she needed a mother's care. And so he married again. Upon the untimely death of this good man, however, that the stepmother's true nature was revealed. Cold, cruel, and bitterly jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty, while Cinderella was abused, humiliated, and finally forced to become a servant in her own house. Because when people think of adoption and foster care, they automatically think of abuse, neglect. Oh, he's not a part of the family. In other words, the Cinderella story. That's what I think about sometimes. They took me in as if I was their own. It's love. It's community. Pretty much when a child is placed in another home due to unforeseen circumstances. There was a lot of paperwork involved, court dates. Um, I guess both both sides of the family wanted to show up, like the adopted side and the, the actual side. My mom, my biological mom, was on drugs. So um, she ended up going to jail for, I want to say, a few months. So while she was in jail, my grandfather and my grandmother was taking care of me like they were. Like one day I'll be with my grandmother, then one weekend I'll be with my grandfather. And it got too confusing and time consuming for them. So they both was like, well, maybe we should just give them up for adoption. So um, I want to say, I guess they contacted DCFS and told them, you know, we would like to put up our grandchild for adoption. So what I do is I help prospective adoptive families navigate their way through their, their adoption journey in order to adopt a baby from the United States through an agency. So I will educate them about everything they need to know about adoption. I will hold their hand through the whole journey. I will help them put together their adoption profile, which is a like a storybook of their life, which is how they get matched with a situation with an expectant mother. I will help them choose the right agencies for them. And then I will support them all the way through until even after they bring home their baby. Around the time my adopted mother was doing foster care, and she still does up to this day. So um, they were, she was the first person they called, and they were like, oh, hi, we have um, a child available. Um, would you like to take and come in? And she was like, okay. And at that moment, at first they said, oh, it's just short term, which means that I'll stay with her for like a few weeks to a month until they find me a permanent placement. So um, I think I was three and a half. I was staying with my play mother, um, and they ended up coming to get me and took me to my adopted mother. And I think she said after a few days, she was like, yes, I'm keeping him. That's my baby. So I've been stuck with her ever since. So, yeah. <laughs> I adopted because it's always been my biggest dream in life to be a mom. I knew I was meant to be a mom for forever. And I was getting to an age in my life that it it gets harder to conceive on your own. I went through a whole fertility journey before um, I decided to adopt. Um, I was also single. I was looking for that guy, but it just wasn't happening. And I knew I, I was at a crossroads in my life that either I could choose to do this on my own and go down that path, or I might not be a mother. And to me, there wasn't a choice. Like, I was meant to be a mom, so I chose to do it on my own. And I never look back. I um, I didn't know a lot about adoption when I when I chose that path, and so I did educate myself a little bit. You know, I had a certain story about in my head about what that meant, and then soon realized that a lot of the stories that I had in my head were just that, were just stories, and they were myths. And once I started understanding what adoption really meant, and that I did have choices in my adoption journey. Um, I opened my heart to it, and once I did, it happened really quickly. I knew it was going to be my path once I made the decision to go down, um, down that road, 
and it, it happened fairly quickly for me. My relationship with my adopted mom is actually, um, it's great for the most part. Um, because she did everything for me, so. Of course, our relationship is gonna be better than my birth mom. Um, and that's crazy, but that's how it is. I guess you can say it was one of those success stories, as some people would call it, because when people think of adoption and foster care, they automatically think of abuse, neglect, Oh, he's not a part of the family. In other words, the Cinderella sword. That's what I think about sometimes. And I don't, I don't know that that I'm qualified or, or anyone's qualified to say what's a good parent, because I think for each child, um, it might be a different answer. My biggest advice is to, one, educate yourself. Educate yourself about what it means to go through the adoption journey and what it means to be an adoptive parent. There, being an adoptive parent is unique. We have our own unique set of issues. Um, every parent and every child has unique issues. Stay encouraged because I know for some people they feel like, oh, I can't find the perfect child and I can't. You know, and I can't find the, um, you know, the child that's fit for us. Number two is um, most people when they're looking to adopt a baby are ready for it to happen yesterday. So my model, which is different than what a lot of people will think to do on their own, is to apply to multiple agencies at once so that you can get yourself in front of um, as many expectant mothers as possible in order to find the right match for you.